The third type of test I'm going to show you how to do is a paired t-test using the data on page 68 of Essential Medical Statistics. This time we have drug and placebo times in two different columns. So we're going to enter replicate values stacked into columns. And I'm calling this data table page 68 of Essential Medical Statistics. Column one is drug and column two is placebo. So now I'll enter the results. There, done for the placebo group, sorry, for the drug group, now on to the placebo group. This data is on page 68 of the textbook. There, all of the data has been entered. To do this analysis, we go analyze, t-test, okay. This time, the experimental design is paired because observation one control and observation one treated is the same person. We're assuming a normal distribution. And now we click options. In the textbook, the calculation drug minus placebo has been done. So we're also going to do drug minus placebo. We also want to graph the differences of the paired and we want the descriptive statistics for each data set. And then we'll say OK. So here are the results. The p-value is 0.17, the t-statistic is 1.48, the degrees of freedom is 9, there are 10 pairs, the mean of differences is 1.08, the 95% confidence interval is negative 0.57 to 2.73. This is the same as the textbook. The differences for each of the individuals is shown and there's also descriptive statistics if you're interested. And this graph shows the differences of drug minus placebo. So you can see that some people had a high, very high value and some people had a low value. If I go to the other graph, I can actually change what I want it to look like. I like this graph here, before, after, with symbols and lines. I'm going to right click and resize the graph to fill the page. As you can see, some people slept longer on the placebo and some people slept longer on the drug. I quite like this graph because it enables you to see what's actually happening with the data. Back to the tabular results. After getting this, these results, you would need to, in an assignment, 
follow the hypothesis test steps. I hope that these videos have helped show step by step how to use GraphPad Prism to do t-tests.